So, what's up, guys? You know, today, I'm you know, I'm just going to talk about a few things, you know. I'm here, you know, to give some updates, you know, on what happened to me, you know, over New Year's. Well, before New Year's and, you know, some other things in life. So, you know, I'm just going to talk about a few things today. So, um, first off, you know, I know I didn't make a New Year's video uh, there's reasoning of why I haven't really been on camera then. I wasn't, you know, picking up the camera or anything. So, guys, um, right after Christmas, well, Christmas Day, first let me start off on Christmas Day, my grandmother, uh, came over and she had pink eye, which they say it's a common cold, but to me... It's not a common cold. It's it's an annoying cold. So, I mean, it was, you know, just a rough time for me because, you know, a few days later, I caught it because I came in contact with my grandmother and it was like at the last minute when she told me not to touch her, I was like, dang on it. I was like, I'm going to end up getting sick. And I was like, again, I might be fine. But already, I was feeling... You know, over a w week before this, I was kind of feeling like a little scratchy in the throat and stuff anyway. So, I was just like, either it's going to kick in or it's just going to stay like this. And it kicked in. So, I caught the pink eye. Which, you know, which is another, you know, name for it is conjunctivitis. Um, so, that's what they diagnosed me with when I went to urgent care. Uh... I can't remember the date. I, I don't remember dates, so I can't give out the the proper date when that happened. So, I'm just going to say, you know, before New Year's. Because it was before New Year's. It wasn't like on Christmas Day or like the day after. But like, it was a couple days after that. So, I had, you know, like I was having hot flashes. You know, sweating. My body was aching. I had headache. My eyes were sore, they were burning, they were red, so they gave me eye drops for it, um, the conjunctivitis, which is known as the pink eye. So, there wasn't really no coughing in, you know, at all, uh, there wasn't no sneezing or nothing. It was a lot of, you know, cold, you know, to the throat and everything else, but, um, far wise of anything else, you know, it wasn't anything else, but, um... It's just that, that sickness. That was the first time I caught that. I don't know how I ended up catching things for the first time so late. But it's like, it's a danger when you get to around that time that, that, that time of the year. Between Thanksgiving and, you know, New Year's, it can be a dangerous time for you. Or I, 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 matter of fact, I just think that I want to say uh, Thanksgiving to around Valentine. I, this, it's just... You know, a tough time, you know, and an easy time to get sick because, you know, there's flu season out there. And then a lot of people, you know, that the, the colds, you know, the common colds, you know, everything you, you catch. Um, not COVID. I didn't catch COVID at all. I'm not even vaccinated at all. And I haven't caught COVID, which is a good thing. You know, I'm not saying that I don't want to get vaccinated, but I'm waiting. I'm just waiting, you know, time, you know, because... People are literally getting vaccinated and bam, people have getting third and fourth shots and bam, they're, they're still catching it. I'm a guy, you know, who hasn't had any of that and just, you know, haven't caught it, you know. Thank God, you know, I've never caught it and everything, you know, just better, you know, to stay on the safe side. Um, but... Yeah, guys, anyway, I was sick. That's why I didn't make a, you know, a New Year's video. You no, know, I did do, you know, some uploads with the, the snow and everything. Uh, I enjoyed that snow. It didn't, it didn't last very long. It was, uh, two and a half inches, which, you know, 2.5 inches of snow. Uh, tonight we are supposed to get, you know, a dusting to maybe half an inch to, you know, maybe an inch here. Um, you know, if I'm able, you know, to get a video, if I'm up, which I'll, I'll try, 
you know, because I, I'm a big snow fan and I love snow. So I'll try to, you know, get a video out there if I can, you know. But when when the time is going to start, it's, it's going to be, you know, past midnight, and, you know, into the early morning hours. So if there's going to be a chance for me to get a video or me to get a little glance of it, I'm going to have to, you know, be up around that time frame. So I might be shooting a video maybe about 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. It all depends on, you know when you know when it happens you know but that's the time is expected to happen you know anywhere between you know after midnight through early morning hours maybe about 10 11 12 p.m tomorrow so i'll try to get a video you know out there if i can you know like i said i really enjoy it you know um i'm gonna go back to you know 2020 no not 2020 excuse me 2021, I'm going to go to 2021, and I'm going to call out a few of the greatest moments of 2021, because I'm going to tell you right now, 2021 was, like, probably my best year ever. Um, met new family, uh, was able to go to Virginia Beach the first time, um, my uncle got married this year, and that was in Virginia Beach. Um, I went to, uh, Orlando, Florida, you know, I haven't been to Florida since I was, you know, a couple months old or something like that. You know, my mom told me, but the experience Florida and I was 18 years old back then, it was great. You know, I had a great birthday, you know, um, this upcoming year, I'll be 20 this year, so I'll be a, a big or young 20, whatever you guys, however you guys say it, or however you guys want to call it. Um, but uh, also graduating, you know, right there, you know, me, um, you know, running, you know, track, you know, that was my final track season of high school. Then I did a little bit of summer track as well. Um as you guys can see, the banner back here up on my wall, cross country. This was back in 2020. I absolutely stole the show. Uh, just one year experience of cross country. And, you know, nobody's, you know, I don't think nobody's ever seen a guy like me. Just go out like that um, on his rookie uh, season and his final season. And just have an absolutely great, outstanding cross country season, you know, overall. You know, top finish was second place. I'm very proud of myself for that. Um, this is the school I ran for, Wilson High School, here in South Carolina. Uh, but, you know, it was it was just a heck of a run in cross country and a heck of a run in track as well. Uh, I miss both of the sports very much. Uh, Sometimes, you know, it, and it really makes me miss school. It really makes me miss school. And I'm still uh, shocked and, like, I'm like, I can't believe it. I walked across the stage, you know, this last year. I'm like, wow. Like, you only get that chance one time. That's why you tell you not to play around in high school or not to take it as a joke. Because, you know, there's going to be things you miss about school. And there's things you're not going to miss. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, I miss, you know, just going to school in general. You know, talking to my favorite staff and um, my buddies, you know. A lot of them are still, you know, going through school right now. Not all, all of them, you know, graduated with me. Some of them still got a year or two to come up. Maybe three. And, yeah. But... Enjoy your life in high school, guys. Don't don't play around with it. You know, for you guys that have not finished school or you guys that have, you know, finished school, you know, I'm not concerning the guys, who, you know, who finished school, but the ones who haven't. But anyway, 2021 was overall a great year. I know I didn't cover everything that happened in that year, but yeah. But I did make a video and uh on the second of January. You're probably like, oh, you you made a video on January second, guys. You know I have two channels. One's called Jeremy Jackson. What is it? The Weatherman? Jeremy Jackson, the Big Dreamer, something like that. <laughs> uh, this is my main channel. Um, and the other channel is Jeremy Jackson K, 
No, excuse me. It's Jeremy K. Jackson. So, my middle name starts with a K, by the way. So, yeah. Just, you know, go check both the channels out. They they both got pretty much the same thing on it. Uh, one channel may have more videos than the other. One channel may have a video or two that the other channel that the other channel don't have. So I try to keep put post on b both pages, but it's kind of hard. And I'm like, why am I running two pages? You know, I don't even know. Uh, I think because I uh, had a uh, switch up uh, my Gmail and other stuff, that's why I'm running two pages. So, you know. Bear with me, guys. You know, I know you probably like, this is the same video. This is the same video. And then some of the titles, I don't remember the title from the other name. So, I'll, it might have a little bit of a different title on, you know, the other channel. So, I'm sorry for that. But, you know, I'm doing the best I can here. You know, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not trying to be, you know, the best YouTuber out there. But, you know, I'm just doing my little thing. I'm just, you know... Giving it, you know, a try. Giving it a shot. You know, everybody wants to, you know, have a video out here that they make and be on YouTube and everything. And I'm not the only one like that. Everybody is, you know. But I'm not trying to be like anybody. I'm just being myself, you know, doing me, doing what, you know, I want to do, what I have to do. But anyway, this leads to, well, excuse me. The rest of this leads to talking about, you know, the love life and everything and what's my, you know, plans and everything, you know, or, you know, how am I dealing with things? So, you guys know I may have post, you know, the last person, you know, I was talking about in the last video. I think it's been quite a while since I talked about this or, or whatever, you know, about the person. I said, you know, me and that person split and everything, so... If I didn't say anything about it in any other video, which I don't think I did at all, anyways. But me and that person did split, you know, officially this time. You know, this has been the longest, you know, we split. It's been two months, you know, and everything. But, guys, let me tell you something. You're going to fall in love with someone, you're going to lose them. You're going to fall in love with somebody else, you're going to lose them. It's not like you're going to have, you know, that person for life. Every, everything is not guaranteed. Everything is not promised. Just like tomorrow's not promised for nobody to live, you know. But, like I said, I'm not crying about it. I'm not crying on camera or anything about it. You know, I'm just, you know, talking to you guys about it. Because, you know, some people have a very hard time getting through breakups and everything. People have, you know, very hard times, you know. It'd be hard on me, you know. I've done been through a lot of breakups, but guys, it's it's okay at the end of the day. I'm still alive. I'm still living. I'm not trying to, you know, say anything bad about the person or say anything bad about myself. But there was a lot of issues that were going on in the relationship. And then I'm going to just go ahead and say it like this. I don't want to sound wrong or sound, you know, bad here. But it was not meant to be. Seriously, it was not meant to be. And there was just too much going on, you know, with controlling this and, uh, you know, all types of other things. I'm not going to get into everything because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, you know, like put nobody out there or, you know, say anything that's wrong or, you know, someone jump on my case about it, you know, if they see the video or anything. But it just didn't work out. And it pretty much wasn't working out a long time ago. And there was people warning me and people telling me that I should have, you know, I should have left a long time ago because it changed me. It changed me as a person because... Like, I'm this good person, and now, like, it's like I can't trust people when I'm in a relationship. Like, I can't trust nobody. So, like, it's hard. It's, 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 it's hard, you know, when people break your heart or break the trust promise or whatever. It's hard. Can You know, one of my biggest things in life, tell the truth. 
tell the truth. Um, I honestly don't like when people don't tell the truth because, you know, it just makes you look bad. It, it really makes you look bad. You're not fooling, you know, anybody else on earth or anybody else with that in general. You're fooling, you know, fooling yourself. That's just, you know, putting yourself out there that, hey, you can't, you can't trust me or people being like, hey, you can't trust him or you can't trust her. You can't trust them. That's just, you know, what it's got to lead to. Um, I'm starting to get mixed up in my words a little bit, but, um, my life ain't the best. Everybody's life ain't going to be perfect. Some days are going to be good days and some days are going to be bad days. So you just have to, you know, try to get through, maintain through, you know, everything. But like I said, you know, the relationship thing, you know, it's fine. I'm, I'm, you know, getting over it. Um, you know, it just wasn't meant to be, you know. Like I said, everything, everything is just not going to work out, you know, as you thought, you know. So, therefore, you just have to move on and, you know, try again or give it some time or maybe look at yourself and see what maybe is going wrong and maybe, you know, look and say, hey, maybe it's me that's, you know, doing a little something, something that I need to, you know, work on or do something about or, you know, get myself in check or whatever. But I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. Like, totally, I'm not going to sit here and say that it, you know, was my fault or the person's fault, you know. In general, it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> There's a lot more behind it, but, you know, everything's just not meant to be said on camera. Everything's just not meant to be said, so I'm not going to spread too, too much information, or I'm not going to sit here and sound like I'm whining about it, or I'm complaining, complaining, ugh, complaining about it. So, yeah, that, that's that. It just wasn't meant to be. It just didn't work out. So, you know, there's nothing, you know... The person can do nothing that I can do or anybody else can do, you know. You just have to move on with life and, you know, let it be. So, that's what I'm doing, you know. I'm doing my own thing over here, you know. Trying to finish, you know, getting myself together, get my life together and everything. Try to, you know, get me a car and everything else this year, you know. I'm trying to get myself up there, get myself ready and prepare for life. Because, guys, I'm about to be 20 and I'm telling you. When you get to around this age, things get tougher. Things get tougher, you know. There's some out here that want to drop out of school, that don't want to finish school, that want to cut class and all types of other stuff, and that, you know, want to be violent, you know, shoot people and all types of things. And, you know, it's just crazy. There's a lot going on in this generation now. The, the young generation is... I'm going to just say it like this. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. It's, it's a crazy generation that's going on out here right now. So, you know. But I'm making the best of my life. I'm just not going to oh, be like, hey, because they're shooting, I'm going to go shoot. No, I'm not going to go do what others what others do. I'm, I'll be myself. I just do me. That's like a lot of others are into more music and more artists and focus on that and that. And I'd be like, hey, I'm not, you know, really focusing. I listen to music and everything, don't get me wrong. But there's other things that I'm focusing on that other people are like, you're weird or wow. You know, you can call me weird. You can call me whatever you want to call me. That's your opinion. But I like what I like at the end of the day. And accept it or don't accept it. I mean, I'm not going to get mad or be mean about it. I like weather. Some people are like, why are you so in interested in the weather? I want to be a weatherman. I want to be a storm chaser, potentially in the future. You know, I love this this type of stuff. And like I said, I'm a big snow fan. And maybe someday I'll start my own weather page here on YouTube. We'll see. Um, if it leads to that, hopefully it does because you know it'll be great. You know, to have my own weather page here. You know, and you know, it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, future, I want to drive trains. There's there's so much I want to do, you know, here in the future, you know. 
But, you know, I'm working hard, taking my time slowly but surely to get toward those things. You know, like I said, everybody's not going to just shoot out the gate right away. And, you know, that's where you tend to mess up at. That's where you tend to mess up at. When you try to rush things or when you try to go too fast or when you're moving too fast, that's where you tend to mess things up. Take your time. I didn't say, you know, take forever or take slow, but as long as it needs to take you to reach or get what you need or to be successful, take your time. Don't rush. That's like some people want to be in a relationship so bad or they want to, you know, have kids or start a family so bad. There's time for that. You know, be patient. You know, everything's just not going to come, you know. Right then and there when you want it to. It'll eventually come, but you just have to give it time. Don't rush things. And things will work out. Guys, I'm already like 21 minutes in this video. Um, I'm about to end it here shortly. But overall, guys, I want to say this. I've been good, you know, I've been living, I've been living life, you know, there's been things that have been bothering me, but, you know, I, you know, talk to people about it, you know, I uh, think to myself about it, you know, or just let it roll off my shoulders and, you know, say forget it and, you know, recover from it, you know, but everything, you know, like I said, everything's just not going to, not going to be perfect, you know, but that's for people out here, you know, say, hey, you know, why you want to do this? Why you want to do that? Guys, just do your own thing. Like I said, just do your own thing. Don't worry about what a hater think or what anybody else think. Just do you. Do what do what you're good at. Do what's best for you. Not what's best for the world. Not what's best for anybody else. Do what's best for you. But... You know, just make sure you're doing the right thing and not the wrong thing. Stay out of trouble. But anyway, guys, um, I probably, you know, there are some other things I probably wanted to say or cover. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, you know. Um, and like I said, if I'm able to get a video of it snowing, I will upload that when I get the video. But until then, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, you know, comment. Subscribe, you know. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.